In 2004, Patricia Gordon found out she had cancer. They told me I had lymphoma. She set up an immediate uh, an appointment to have the top palate of my mouth removed. And they were Patricia refused to undergo surgery and started a long quest for a different solution, going from doctor to doctor. They were going to administer but it was all in vain. And after three years, she realized she was just going around in circles. Over $2,000 for a PET scan. And it showed up a, a mass in my lung, my right lung, about the size of a medium potato. In the lung? In the right lung, yes. By this time, there was a tumor that started growing up around my right eye. And it basically was forcing my eyeball out to the right side of my head. So how did you find out about uh, Dr. Simoncini? I heard this radio show. It was the Robert Scott Bell radio show. He okay. talked about his alternative treatments and how the success rate was so great. And so when I went to the website, I immediately saw this is exactly what was happening to me because I experienced the white tumors coming down from the roof of my mouth and I got a hold of Dr. Simoncini. Patricia flew to Rome to see Dr. Simoncini. He immediately knew what, what it was. There was no hesitation on his part. He was um, very um, professional, very positive. He started doing injections, not only around my eye, but under my chin. Injections of what exactly? The sodium, baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate. Right. Because a, a tumor, it's, it's still here to a certain degree. But anyway, the, uh, he injected those areas. So he also did injections on, on the eye? All, all around. All around. All around. Uh -huh. And uh, he would do he would inject it and then he would fill up the vial at least three times, flood the area. I mean, I looked like a little balloon, a lopsided balloon by the time he got done. But I could tell that it was something positive. And so um, I was getting immediate results, which I had to come back home after the month, continued injecting myself with solutions. And uh, finally it started to go down and it doesn't mean that I don't have cancer elsewhere, which I need treatment for. And hopefully I can, through this seminar, find somebody. What would you say is needed at this point? Uh, what should happen according to your, your... Well, it would be nice to have a clinic that would be able to honor this. Of course, all you're doing is a metabolic bal balancing. You're not calling it cancer treatment. But in the meantime, uh, what gave you the strength to continue on your own um, like that? Because he was so positive and aggressive, and I knew I had to continue, I learned to do the injections myself. So I'd actually done them in the roof of my mouth. I'd done them all around my eye. Wow. Um, by yourself? By myself. I had to learn because nobody would even touch Even my dentist wouldn't even return my calls when I asked for help. I couldn't get help anywhere. Everybody's afraid. Right. So I thought, if I don't take this in my own hands, I won't survive. This is John Blankenship in Houston, Texas. I was diagnosed with prostate cancer in about August of 2007, and I proceeded to do all the classic evaluations that the medical industry puts you through. Uh, they did a biopsy and later on scheduled me for uh, radical prostatectomy. And I looked on the internet and saw what they were going to do and the fact that I was going to be incontinent and I rejected it out of hand. Uh, the whole time they were, they were trying to sell this operation to me and it just didn't feel right. They ran me through the mill and, and I had to sign a paper that I would accept chemotherapy and also radiation treatment in the event that the radical prostatectomy did not cure my cancer problem. Sometime in early January, I was on the internet and uh, I came across Dr. Tulio Simicini's uh, website and I was amazed at the protocol that he suggested and also I was amazed by his uh, belief that cancer was a fungus. I read over and over and over, and it just made sense to me. And toward the end of January, I called him and made arrangements to go to Rome for treatment. And I arrived in Rome on the 1st of February, and on Monday, on the 4th of February, we put a catheter in. I did eight bicarbonate of soda treatments over there. It took about an hour for treatment. And the only effects that I had the last two days of the treatment, I got a little bit weak, but he gave me eight treatments. So I flew back to the United States with the catheter in place, 
according to this uh, ultrasound scan, your cancer is gone. Yes, sir. Can you believe that? I absolutely believe it. I believe everything that Dr. Simicini says. He's a genius. He's a renaissance man. So, even before you find out about Simicini, it seems to me like the real turning point was when you rejected the orthodox process. Is that correct? I rejected it out of hand because I knew that as soon as they started cutting on it, those little cells were going to run all over my body, and six months later, they were going to be popping up and engrossed all over my body, and I knew that. Because the fungus starts to run and hide, and it finds the best place to hide and receive nutrition. And his treatment sort of kills all of that because there's an overabundance of sodium bicarbonate in the treatment, and it's totally while you're being treated, your blood is becoming saturated with it. So it kills the fungus in route to wherever it's going. So it not only kills the fungus at the tumor, all the fungus that gets away is killed in the alphabet. Are you a doctor, John? No. no. I can read and I can understand and no one else has made sense to me except Dr. <laughs> Thank you. To John. Thank you. Hey.